Hey y'all, I have another hair tutorial for you guys today. But first, y'all like my fake nose ring? I think it looks so cute and it looks real. I'm actually thinking about getting a real one. But considering that the fake one looks real, I don't know about that. But let me get back to this hair tutorial I have for you guys today. I'm going to be showing you how to do a wash and go with a Denman brush. Yeah, see them coils popping? My hair's still wet take forever to dry but I said let me go on ahead and show y'all what I did so stay tuned if you want to see how I styled my hair with this dimming brush and this wash and go <laughs> so I washed and deep conditioned my hair and I'm just going to part it into four sections so that I can style it they don't have to be perfect I'm just separating it because I have a lot of hair and it'll make it easier to style if I separate it into sections. And I'm just going to use these clamps to hold each section in place. I'm going to leave this section loose because that's where I'm going to start. And to style my hair, I'm going to be using this Creamy Nature Pure Honey Not Away Leave-In Detangler. I'm going to be using some Eco Style Olive Oil Gel. And I'm going to be using a Denman brush. And I'm going to start with this first section and I'm going to spray it with water to make sure it's really wet, like dripping wet. And I'm just going to run my comb through it to make sure it's the tangled. I'm using a wide tooth comb so I don't snatch my hair out. And I'm going to go ahead and add some of the knot away leave-in detangler. And I'm just going to put it on that whole section, making sure I get everything from roots to tips. And you want to get the ends really well so that they don't frizz. So to start, I'm going to part the very front section of my hair, my edges. And I'm going to clip the rest back. And I'm actually going to use my fingers to style this section because my edges are a little kinkier and need help coiling. And I'm going to take a little bit of Eco Style Gel. And I'm just going to take my fingers and kind of shingle this section so that I can get the curl pattern I like and it will blend in with the rest of the style. Now I'm going to part the next section. And clamp it back. And I'm going to spray it with a little bit of water and run my comb through it. And I'm going to add some Eco Style Gel from root to tip. Not too much because if you use too much, you'll get flaking. And I'm going to take my Denman brush and I'm going to run it through my hair from root to tip and just let my hair bounce back. And I'm going to part my hair again and clamp the rest back and spray the parted section with water. Just comb it a little to make sure it's detangled. And I'm going to take my Eco Style Gel and rub it from root to tip and I'm going to take the Denman brush you see I'm kind of lifting my hair up so I won't mess up the other sections and then I'm going to run my hair through the brush and let it bounce back and I'm pretty much going to continue the same process until I finish the entire section
Now the sides of my head are tapered and cut shorter. But the parts that can actually be defined with the brush, I'm going to use the brush to pull the gel through. And it's just a shorter section. The rest of my hair on the sides, I'm going to take some water with a little bit of the leave-in and some eco-style gel. And I'm just going to define it with my fingers. Put a little bit too much product, so I'm just going to wipe out some of the excess with my towel and just define that with my fingers. brush down the really short sides in this really short section I'm just going to coil a bit because it's too short for the brush but too long to just use my fingers you see the definition all I'm doing is enhancing my natural curl pattern with the dimming brush if there's any areas where you feel like your hair is not defined enough you can just go in and grab it and just pull your coils between your fingers to give it some more definition so I am finished that first section and before I move along to the next section, I'm just going to spray the back of my hair and the other side with some water. And I'm going to add some of that leave-in detangler along with some eco style gel. And I'm just going to use my hands to Define the coils in the back of my hair. I faded a couple of weeks ago and it's growing back in, but it's still super short. But I can just define that section with my hands and gel the bottom. And I'm just going to use a brush to brush down the short sides. Now I'm going to move along to the next section and I'm going to spray it with some water to make sure it's completely wet because it's kind of drying out after sitting for so long and I'm going to take my wide tooth comb to detangle it. You want to, I'm combing my hair, I usually just work from the tip to the root, but the roots of my hair are not really tangled, so I'm just working the tangles to the tip, and then I'm combing the roots out from tip toward the root. That way you just don't rip out your hair. See? Not ripping out my hair. So just like last time, I'm going to part the first section. And I'm going to clip my hair back. And I'm going to use some Eco Styler Gel and my fingers to define the coils for my edges because they just don't behave like the rest of my hair. 
and I just realized that I forgot to add the leave-in, but my little edges would be okay without it. But I'm going to take the leave-in conditioner and rub it all through the rest of the section from roots to tip. And now I'm going to part the next section and clamp my hair back. Make sure it's really wet. Run my comb through it to detangle it. Add some eco style gel and be generous on the ends. And now I'm going to run my hair through the denim brush. And this little section right here didn't coil as much as I wanted to so instead of running it through again I'm just going to use my fingers to shingle it and define it because this is still an iffy section like my edges sometimes it behaves sometimes it doesn't it's just something about this front patch of my hair that just doesn't behave as well but it's all good you use different methods to achieve the style you want. And there. Got my coils popping the way I want them to. So I'm going to part my hair right here on the side. So I can get the front edges. And I need to use two clamps for this section because it's just too much hair. And I'm going to spray some water. And I'm going to add my gel. And I'm going to continue shingling this section with my fingers. This is around my temple areas. My temple areas are, are very thin. It's hereditary. So I'm gentle with them areas. And when I'm finished styling my hair, I'll go in with my edge brush and brush my little natural baby hairs to camouflage the thin areas that's how I've been styling my hair for years if you've been watching my videos you probably notice I don't really mention that I'm doing it but I'm mentioning it now in case you guys deal with thinning edges you know that that's how I camouflage mine but we'll come back to that I'm just going to part along this section on the short side and clamp it back and I'm going to spray it with some water add my eco style gel and this section is long enough to just run the dim and brush through it and I'm just going to continue with this little edge section part it Clamp it back, add some water, comb through, add some gel, and burn the dimming brush through it. This section could use a little bit of help and just do some quick shingling. And that's it. And it's okay if you have to go through more than once to get the definition you want or if you messed up the first time like I just did with that last section. It's all good. Go through more than once if you need to.
that was a little too thick so I just poured it again to thin it out some I'm gonna spray my water detangle a bit and I just caught some up from the other section but it's all right I'm gonna add my eco style gel get the tips a little more and I'm going to run my dimming brush through my hair and look at that definition like I mentioned you're just defining your natural curl pattern you're not creating curls you won't be able to create curls with any products or using a brush you can only enhance your natural curl pattern that's it that's all y'all And this is the last piece from this section. I'm going to add my water, detangle, add my Eco Style Gel, and run my dimming brush through. And this section is done, the whole front is done. Now I have to do the back, but before I do the back, I'm going to show you guys how I gel my edges. So I'm going to put a little bit of Eco Style Gel on my edges. And I'm using my edge brush. And I'm just going to brush only natural baby hairs. And I'm going to brush those in place to camouflage my thinning edges and like I said my hair is really thin in the temples it's hereditary and as I get older it's just thinning more and I'm just going to pull that hair the longer hair down more so that I can camouflage the section further and then just brush those hairs into place when I get to this side I'm going to do the same as last time on the other side add some eco style gel and brush down the natural sections of baby hair I need a little more gel and I'm going to use my comb to just pull down the longer hairs and then use my edge styler brush to brush down the baby hairs So now I'm going to go ahead and start these back sections and I'm going to spray my hair with water because this section is almost completely dry at this point and I'm just going to run my wide tooth comb through the section to detangle it and I'm going to add the leave-in detangler getting from the roots all the way to my ends and I'm going to part it and clamp it back in the first section I'm just going to style with some eco style and my fingers I'm just going to get in here. I can't actually see what I'm doing, y'all, but I'm so used to doing my own hair 
that I can feel my way around. I don't necessarily need to see when I'm doing the back. So I'm going to part the next section. Clamp it back. Spray it with water. Detangle. Add my Eco Style Gel. And I'm going to run the dimming brush to it. I can feel in here. It just needs a little assistance. And I'm just going to continue until I finish the section with the same process. Part, wet, detangle, gel, thinning brush. This is the last section on the back and I'm going to part that into two and clamp one of the sections back. I'm going to spray the front section with water, detangle, add my gel. Ooh, that's a tangle in me. I'm going to have to do that section again. Right there. And one more section on this side. And then I have one section left in the back that I'm going to go ahead and do. And I'll be done with my dimming brush washing ball. So I finished my whole head, y'all. And now I'm going to go in with my metal pick. And I'm just going to lift up my roots in the top a little bit. So that my hair can dry in the shape that I want. And a little stretched. And not so strengthened. <laughs> I have a lot of shrinkage with my hair. So... I'm just going to lift those sides a little bit and get the sides over here and just get the back some and I pretty much have the shape that I want and I'm going to let my hair air dry and I'm done.